Hello everyone, I am Marie with Vienna Care and in today's video we'll have a closer look at a very exciting product. The Kissim Lip Plumbing Tints. We'll go over what lip blushing is, the benefits of using the Kissim Lip Tints, how to use the product and we'll have a look at a procedure performed by Sage Wellington. First, let's have a look at what lip blushing is. Lip blushing is some kind of semi-permanent makeup effect procedure. Pigment is deposited into your lips using a device with small needles, for example with the Dr. Pen. While also sometimes called lip tattooing, this is more of a cosmetic enhancement rather than a traditional tattoo art. Lip blushing focuses on altering both the color and shape to create younger looking lips. How does the Kissim Lip Tint work? Kissim Lip Tint is a hyaluronic serum and is intended to be used during mesotherapy in order to moisturize, rejuvenate and bring some more youth and color to the lips. This product is considered to be the next new thing in the world of permanent makeup. In addition to the moisturizing effect and elimination of fine lines, Kissim Lip Tint provides a rich lipstick application effect. You get to choose from four different shades including pink, hot pink, red and red wine. You can use one of these colors or you can mix them together and make your own shade. The product has the lightest texture ever. You won't even feel it on your lips. This is a product part of the BB Glow Serum line. And if you are interested in those, check out our Dr. Drawing BB Glow Serum review in the link above. Now let's look at how this is supposed to be used. It's recommended to make three to five procedures and leave a break of two weeks between each session. For each procedure, you need a maximum of one milliliter of product. The effect lasts up to six months and has to be repeated to maintain the results. To prevent the pigment from fading quickly, avoid frequent lip exfoliation, sun exposure and smoking. What are the benefits of using Kissim Lip Tint? It brings more colors to the lips, moisturizes the lips, increases the natural volume and removes fine lines around the lips. What's inside the box? There are a total of six vials, four different color lip tint vials, one pre-treatment solution and one after treatment solution. Now let's go and have a look at a procedure performed by Sage Wellington. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe, like and turn on the notification bell so you are the first one to find out when we post new and exciting content. Hi there, my name is Sage for Vienna Care and in this video I'm going to be using the Kissam Micro Pigment Color for lip blushing. I'm going to be lip blushing my lips with the Dr. Pen. So let me show you guys everything you will need for the lip blushing procedure. So first things is that you really want to make sure you're extra sanitized and being very sterile. So I'm going to wash my hands, but I also am going to use a hand sanitizer and I'm going to be wearing gloves during the procedure. It's really important to make sure that you're being very sanitized and sterile even if you are working on yourself and especially with clients. You can also either use a gauze sponge or a cotton swab to apply the pre-treatment, the lip tint, and also the post-treatment that comes together in the Kissim kit. I am also personally going to be using a white eyeliner pencil just to map out um, the areas of my lips so that I don't go outside of my lip border. And I also did get some numbing cream from Vienna Care as well, so I won't feel a thing during the procedure. Okay, gloves are on. I am going to put on the numbing cream. So this is the numbing cream that I'm going to use before I lip blush and it has 10.56% lidocaine. So how you want to use numbing cream is apply it onto your lips. After you apply it onto your lips, you just want to cover your lips with saran wrap for about 10 to 15 minutes until your lips are numb. So I'm going to do that now, but I wanted to explain before because I won't be able to speak when there's the plastic on my lips. So you just will peel off the protective layer and I'm going to apply the cream.
Okay, so I left the numbing cream on for about eight minutes and my lips are completely numb. Like they feel really weird right now. I can't feel a thing, but I wanted to show you all that I did little drops of each color um, just so that you can see the differences. So the first one right here is pink. This one is hot pink. This one here is red. And then the last one was red wine. So after looking at this, I'm going to go for hot pink because clearly that is my favorite color. So yes, I'm going to be using the hot pink tint. Okay, so before the pre-treatment, I'm just going to take my alcohol pad and sanitize my lips. So now I'm going to be taking the pre-treatment and one of my gauze sponges and scrub down my lips thoroughly. Okay, so I am now going to map out my lips or just line them with the white eyeliner pencil just so I don't like accidentally go too far down or too high up. And I have a lip mirror here. Okay, so this is about where I am going to keep the product in. Okay, so now we're going to start our lip blushing. So I have the hot pink tint here and another clean gauze. I'm going to get the tip of that really nice and wet. Okay, so make sure you keep this nearby because if the product dries up, you wanna be able to add more and keep your lips really moist with the tint. Just like microneedling, you want a nice slip and you want the product to be lathered on. Okay, so I have my Dr. Pen ready to go. I have it on a depth of 0.25 right now, um, just because it's on the lips and lips are a little bit more delicate. But if I feel the need to increase the depth, then I will. And I'm gonna turn it on. And let's get started. So I am starting to work the product in just by kind of stamping over my lips. And you don't need to press hard, make sure you're not giving it too much pressure. And I'm also doing light circular motions. So the numbing cream definitely helped. I don't feel anything at all. I'm just kind of dabbing on the product as I feel it drying. Okay, I'm going to move on to the top lip.
I personally got into lip blushing because I am a busy mom of two and I definitely feel like this would help me in my mornings and just in my day getting ready. Um, I also don't really have much of a color to my natural lips as you saw in the beginning. So I'm really excited to see the final result of this. And as you can see, I'm staying or trying my best to stay right in the white outline that I did. And I know this looks really bright right now, but lip blushing does fade down when it is healing. It won't be this bright forever. Okay, so I went over my lips with the Dr. Pen and the lip tint one time. I'm just going to re-wet in this, um, wet my lips again and go over it one last time to really make sure every area is covered. So I'm just going to really quickly brush over again. So the next step is to apply the tint onto your lips and let the product seep into your lips for about five minutes and then you can wipe and clean it off with the after treatment. Okay, so I will be back in about five minutes to show you how to use the after treatment. Okay, so it has been about five minutes and I'm going to use the post treatment or the after treatment and soothe my lips and just take off the extra product. Okay, so these are my final results. I feel like it is super cute. It is a lot brighter right now than it will be when it's healed, but I honestly wouldn't mind if it even stayed like this. The color is really pretty. And the aftercare oil that I put on that came with the, with the box feels really nice. It has a nice slip, my lips don't feel dry or like they just got attacked with needles. So I overall really loved my experience when using the Kissa Micro Pigment Colors. Um, again, I used the color Hot Pink and this is what it is currently looking like. If you are interested in seeing more about the lip blushing or seeing how they heal, you can check out my YouTube channel, which is called Sage Wellington, because I will be posting updates and all of that. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Well, I hope this video was useful for you and we would like to know which color you would choose for your lips. Please let us know in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to let us know. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.